Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Nacho Dad, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the governor on Predator 420s and Honda GX 340s and 390s. Since the Predator 420 is basically a clone of the GX 390, as long as you've got the non-Hemi version, which has the, uh, the Pentagon valve cover, whereas the Hemi has a big rectangle valve cover. So if you've got this valve cover, everything on your engine should be about the same as what's on my engine. So, we're going to go ahead and get started pulling this thing apart to pull the governor out and then put it all back together and get it ready. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is take the drain the oil out of it before we take the side cover off. And to do that, it's a 12 millimeter bolt right here on the bottom. And now you just take it out. And out comes your oil. Alright, it's done draining, so I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, bolt back in. And because I'm very forgetful, and I've had them rattle out, anytime I put a drain plug in, I always go ahead and tighten it down. That way, if I get in a hurry putting this thing back together later, it's already in there. Alright, so now i got the drain plug in. I've got it turned back around here so we can see it. I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, side cover bolts out, and it's seven 12 millimeter bolts here, so I'm just go ahead and break them loose. y'all a little jiggle. My bad. One, two, three, four, and five. So I've got everything but the bottom two out. And what I'm going to do, there's no gas in the tank. And uh, there's no oil in it now. I'm just going to flip it over. Ta-da! We'll be right back. Alright. So i got the camera up here so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'll go ahead and take these bottom two bolts out. And very gently pull on this cover. And it's not gonna pull. Scratch that. So, yeah, if you just bought a brand new 420 Predator, this will come off a lot easier because it hasn't been sitting here heat soaking and baking. Let's see if I can just, just, I just need a little bit. Right there's the spot. Just like that. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this uh, the governor rod first, and then we'll come back and uh, pull the governor out of the case. So I only got my bolt cutters. And I just cut it off. So now there's no more governor arm on there. Alright, so there's still a little nub, enough to keep it from going through. Uh, I mean, later on I might take it out, but for now, it's not hurting anything to leave it in. So, that's all we're doing there. Uh, when I come back, I'm going to move this to the side, we'll take the uh, governor wheel off. Alright, so this is the governor wheel we're going to take off. We've got to get this little slidey bit in the middle out. Hold on, let me drop you down closer. Alright, there we go. Now maybe you can see it a little better. So this is the governor wheel. This spins, pushes this little metal deal in the middle out. That's what pushes on the rod, pushes your throttle back. So, I've seen lots of ways people do this. I'm using the wrench method. You just get a wrench up under one side and up under the other. And uh, don't look at it. It's under the tool bench. We're not getting that one back. And then, just like the 212, but probably a little worse, this one's got that little devil clip in it. So, un momento, por favor. Alright, so there's just a little 
break in this ring. It's almost like a hog ring. If anybody does upholstery and knows what a hog ring is. There we go. Popped it loose. At least. Loose means nothing if we can't get it out though. All right, there's someone over there. Governor's out. Now we could leave this rod in. And we could cut it out. Right there. I'm gonna cut it out. And by cut, I mean neat. Okay. If anybody who didn't know, that's hardened. It really fly. And there's, you can leave the rod there. There's no reason to take it out other than I just wanted to cut it because I'm going to be doing, that's going to get come out and get shaved off later anyway. But, all right. So that's how you take the governor out. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. And uh, let me pull the engine back over here and we'll put the cover back on. All right, went ahead and wiped the block off too. Um, I was thinking about pulling the low oil sensor out, but until I do the stage one kit, since I want to do well stage two and or stage three, when I get my parts in, I'm going to be in here anyway. So this is just to pull the governor off, kind of give us that little extra RPM boost. All right, so now, being careful not to nick the seal on the crank, he says while he slaps it all over the place. Side covers back on. All right, that's it. We have all the throttle control we want. No governor. All right, guys, so that's all it takes to take the uh, governor out of one of these Predator 420 engines or the Honda GX340 and 390 engines. It's pretty straightforward. It only took about 20 minutes. Uh, seven bolts to take out and pull the governor wheel off. Taking this little thing off was probably the hardest part of it all. But once that's off, just put it all back together and you're good. Uh, this thing's still in stock trim, so it's still got stock cam, stock valve, stock valve springs, stock carburetor stock flywheel, stock rod. Everything in this engine is still stock. So, as of now, the only thing we did is give us the ability to get a few more RPMs out of it, and with a factory carburetor and the load that it's going to be under, those little, a little bit extra RPM is going to be nice. Now, the next video I put out is probably going to be part one of this. This is going to be a stage two or stage three build-up. We're going to get a billet rod, we're going to get billet flywheel, we're going to get a big-ass cam, big carburetor, uh, we're just throwing it at it because we want that sand rail to be fast like not so much fast fast but we don't ever want to get stuck in it and it'd be nice to have something big block hot rod and then we're gonna build something small block hot rod later on so that's it for this video I'm gonna be doing about one video a week for 2019 for now so stick around next one's gonna be part one disassembly of all of this and uh, that'll be out sometime next week all right thanks for watching Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Plenty more stuff coming on in 2019. Alright, see y'all in the next video.